Folks, I'm having a horrendous day. I've not got about 20 comments since 10 o'clock. Everything that could go wrong with work's going wrong. It's just, I just don't know where I'm coming or going. I've got a meeting at about 7 o'clock tonight. I won't get back till 9 to do with work. I'm on a really late one. I've had a chance to do no revision whatsoever. None of the stuff I normally do. I've looked at the newspaper and the internet. I've done none of the TV programs or anything like that. I've got hardly anything to tell you tonight. First thing I'm going to tell you is to do with racing because I know I've got a good racing following there and I don't want you to be waiting things that might not come later. I've got something about you know who. He came back online yesterday. I've got a response to the video I saw yesterday of his. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about the scores on the doors. Uh, and that really is it. I think I've only got three videos to do. This one, something about you know who. Katie, I can't believe what I've read today. And just thoughts on the woman that likes whipping horses. And then what I'm going to do late tonight when her indoors has gone to bed. I'm going to come home. I'm going to have some tea very, very late on. Watch a bit of TV with her. Uh, oh, that should be obeyed. And when she goes to bed, I'm going to do all the research you would normally do. Uh, and if there's anything I want to cover, I'll do it tomorrow. And I'm also going to do a scores on the doors. Thus far, the only folk that I know to do a scores on the doors, the only, the only bets I've got wrote down are Zorro's and Horsepower Ints, because they sent me those in email last night and I wrote them down. I've not seen a video of, of anybody's today, anybody's. So late on tonight, when she goes up the stairs, I'm going to look at all the videos, I'm going to forward them to the selections, I'm going to write them down, and I'm going to do a scores on the doors, either very late tonight, so some of you might catch it, but it might be in the morning. If I don't get it done in the morning, it'll be when I come back, because I'm in their arms cook tomorrow morning, I won't be back to about one or two o'clock, and then I'm working from home. So it might be a late scores on the doors. Now, I know many of you understand and know how your tipsters are doing, so you follow them, but I know you don't follow every single one of them. And I know people like the, the collated things and who's doing well and who's not. So I hate to miss out today, folks. I hate to miss out now. But I promise you, I will catch you up. I hope you can forgive me. Right. Let's go to the video that came out last night. A couple of people came on and said, oh, you're never going to believe it. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's begging for a pound this time. He wants a pound. Uh, they said, you need to watch it. I never got a chance all that last night. and watched it. And I'm going to say this, folks. And you're going to be surprised. You're going to be shocked. A bit of me, about that much only about that much Keith ain't gonna buy this at all Keith's gonna be messaging me saying you're a right pillock grumpy but that much of me felt sorry for him I really did I know he's been on there and I believe he rips folks off and I believe he's not honest genuine and upfront but I felt sorry for him because I thought I don't want to be the guy behind somebody uh, stopping somebody earning money I don't want to be part of a restraint of trade but the bottom line is this Kevin he was on here in January we kept having a go at you you kept moaning back, you kept saying you'd never change. And then, lo and behold, he said, okay then, from 1st of February, it might be 1st of March, I'm going to do a daily profit and loss. And we said, well, that's all we want. Then you say you took ill for five or six weeks, and you may have been, sympathies with you if you were, you know, you said it was the big C. I'm glad you got over it. Um, but you came back, no profit and loss. We've mentioned it time and time and time again. No joy. Now, this video, folks, I'm doing twice. The first time I did it, it got stopped. I don't know if it got stopped because Kevin's name's in the title, I put his name in the title and I used his thumbnail. I'm adding this bit on, it weren't in the first video. I'm using his thumbnail, his, his website thing. And I'm doing all the stuff to do, go down like I do to upload it. And it says, what did it say? Um, Monetisation not available on this video. That means I can't earn from it. I'll earn buttons from it anyway. If six or seven hundred of you see it, I might earn one pound fifty. So I'll earn nothing. He must have spoke to YouTube and say that I can't use any of his images. Now this is the same Kevin that about five or six months ago said you can use my thumbnail as much as you want you can talk about me as much as you want you can say anything you've got to say because all it does is it brings more people to my channel people are jumping on board all the time because of you you're helping people that come to me now um, Neil Marie said don't use my thumbnail again uh, the man with the crooked fingers what's his name Sandro said don't use my thumbnail again I've not done I've used Kevin's now and again he's not been on for a while because he told me I can tried to use it before it wouldn't let me then I changed it and put my traditional thumbnail in, the, the Britain's Grumpy I still get, and it went through. But it said it was going to take an hour and a half to upload. I don't know why that would be, because mine normally only take minutes. So I thought, has he done something where I can't do anything about him? I don't know. So I thought, I'm going to re-record. I'm not going to put his thumbnail up there, and we're going to see if that goes through. But he's definitely been on to YouTube. There's no doubt about that. Now, to his video. He's, got, he's an ex-investigative reporter, he says. He's told us that in the past. He's told us he's worked for the news of the world. If it was me, I'd have kept that part to myself, but that's that's his want. And he's going to do a deep dig and a deep dive. I don't know what he's going to dive into. I don't know who he's going to dive into. Is it me? I'm not a tipster. 
Buddy could say I've got it in for him and I have, but for all the right reasons. Is it the other tipsters? Well, if he's doing a deep dive to any tipsters, I mean, if he's not going to start on himself and he's not going to tell us about himself, I would imagine his first protocols would be Sandro, Holden, Holden's horses, and your man who we don't mention anymore. They've all been in the same stable and come out of the same stable. They all do things the same way. I would imagine they'll be the first three or four ports of call. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he means the tipsters that we follow, the ones that don't charge, because all these folks that do charge can't understand why people will work at it and not charge. And they don't like the fact that some aren't charging, I don't think. Especially because some that aren't charging have got a bigger following than they have. And they've got loyal followers and they've got people who think the world of them. Not many think the world of himself and Sandro and uh, Alden, especially when they've had a few weeks worth of tips and they've seen how they've gone down. Now, I'll just say this. I'm not after Kevin the Watchman not working on YouTube anymore. If he wants to come back, I'm fine with it. I will never, ever, ever have a pop at him. If he's doing a daily profit and loss like he promised he was going to do, he said in January, I'm going to do it in February or March, whatever it was. Then he took ill, he says, then he came back, never done one one before or since he's the typical smoke and mirror snake oiler that's what he does if he comes and is above board and fair I'll have nothing to say to him whether he charges or not doesn't hurt me just be fair with folk that you might be considered to be ripping off if you're fair up front whether you take money from them or not and they can see what you're doing on a daily basis then that's up to themselves if they want to pay you I don't think he'll do it because I don't think he's doing that well I don't think he does that well um, if he's going to do a deep dive at me, he might be doing, I don't know, there's nothing to dive into. Let me tell you this now, he's earning a good few quid every week off his subscribers with all these different platforms that he offers. I know he gets them on one deal and then chases them with another. I know he's not got the volume coming through he used to have because of what we're saying. And his views are down and down and down. He's also not got the views he had and not got the people jumping on board because lately his tipping's been absolutely atrocious. It's been really, really bad. But... As I've said, and I've lost it, I've gone blank, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say, folks. I am sorry, because I don't work with the script, as I say. I can't think what I was going to say. But he isn't doing well, and it's upsetting him. Uh, that's it. If he's doing a dive at me, well, I don't know why I dive, do a dive on me, because as I say, I don't tip horses. But if he's wondering what I earn and what I do, I'll tell you this again, I've told folks before. On here, the most I've ever earned in a month is about 120 quid, which equates to 30 quid a week. If I was doing 30 hours a week, that'd be bad, but I'm probably doing near 60 or 70. I don't do it for the money, although ultimately that's what I want and I want more. And when the channel grows, I will get more. But this is the ad work before it grows. I do it because I've got a community that I think the world of, and I love what I do. It's killing me, but I love it. So I'll keep doing it. Um, I have this, they call it by me, a coffee man is called Kofi. People have donated to the channel. When I say people, just to give you some idea, I mean, I don't ask anybody for money. I never have done. I never would do a camping myself to do it. If I can't bring myself to ask for subscribers or thumbs up, I can't ask for money, can I? And up to now, I think, I think what's been donated is about 11 quid. So I've had 11 quid in about 17, 18 months. Not a lot, is it really, um, Kevin? It's not a lot. So I'm not rubbing people, am I? 11 quid I've had. And that 11 quid I've not touched because it's somewhere in PayPal and I'll get it out because I'm, I told you I'm thick. My daughter will do it for me, but I've not done it yet. So the first one came about September of last year. I've not touched it. Not had any of it. If he's doing a deeper deep dive against me, again, why would he? I've got no idea. He'll say a few years ago I had some financial problems, and I did. They're not hidden from anything or anybody. Lots of us have had them. Luckily, I've not now, although I'd like to be better off. That's why the channel's going to make myself some more money further down the line. You know, but have I robbed anybody? I've done anything wrong? No. Uh, would I ever do anybody? No. Have I ever done anybody? No. Do I sleep at night? Well, I don't, not, but nothing because of anything in my past. I just don't sleep because I'm always on the go. I work a lot. I do hell of a lot. But anyway, that's by the by. So nothing to report with me. And as for the financial difficulties I've had, I have said ooh, four or five months ago now, when I get to 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to do like a life story, a five or six parter. Many won't be interested, but there'll be the odd one that is, that I'd like to know what I've done in my life and how I've got to here or to there and done this, done that. And it's going to be out there. But that's as much as anything else for me kids and for me grandkids. The great thing about YouTube and doing videos is they're there forever and on for posterity. When I'm long gone and it could be any time, they'll have something to look back on, how the, grand, the granddad or the dad did and what they did and whatever else. And my views on my life thus far, I think it'll be interesting. A lot won't be interesting, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that about the financial wars will be in there, so you can say anything you want if you dig down on me, but I'm only going to say it anyway, so you know it's not going to bother me. Do whatever you want. 
investigative reporter or not, I've got nothing to hide. And I don't think the people that give tips that you're bothered about who don't charge you about anything to hide, but what are you going to investigate? I mean, why don't you investigate folk like yourself or do no investigation at all, just change to doing a daily profit and loss? Because if you do that, you'll be fine. Now, what I would say, if you're not prepared to do that, go on one of these other platforms, TikTok or Facebook or Instagram, I'm not on any of them, I'm not bothered who's on there. When someone comes on here, on YouTube, because we're on it, and we feel they're robbing folk, people tell me, I look into it, and between us, we get at them until they start doing it fairly. And if they don't do it fairly, we keep at them until they go. And if they go, great, go elsewhere. Your mate Holden, he's on the other things, I don't know what he's on. He's brought his mate in, hasn't he? Icy, old Ice Ice Baby. I believe he's done absolutely crap since he brought him on board, said it was the best thing since sliced bread. Holden wouldn't mind, he's earning off him. But no one else is. The punters that follow him are doing the brains in. Go and do what he's doing. You could be nicey. You know, like, is it Dave Nice, was he? Um, from Harry Enfield. You could be nicey. I don't think it's very nice the tips you give because they're nearly all losers. But you could, that would be a nice nickname for you. You'd have Icy and Nicey, eh? Nice Ice Baby. Maybe it's just an idea. I don't know. But um, if you're on any of them other platforms, go and run on them, Kevin. I don't mind that. But if you come back on here and you're doing a profit and loss, you learn nothing from me. If you come back on here and you're not doing one, We'll be into your daily and not rightly so, I think. Don't think we've done anything wrong. Now, YouTube might be banning this video, I don't know. I'm going to put it out now. It's going to have my thumbnail on it, not Kevin's, because I think he sorted something out with them that I can't put it on there. And we'll see if it gets through. Um, but if it doesn't, I'll be onto YouTube and I'll be saying, wait a minute, all we're doing is saying to these tipsters, we believe you're robbing people and be more transparent. And I think when YouTube realised that's what's happening, a few have said on my site, well, why don't YouTube regulate these people? The ones that are robbing folk, taking money into false pretenses, they shouldn't want it on their platform anyway. They should do something about it, and I believe they should. This might be the starter of that. You never know. He might make it worse for himself and uh, the people of his ilk. So, I'll leave that with you, folks. And I'll try to speak to you later today with the uh, scores on the doors. It may be tomorrow. Apologies to one and all.